Today, we're gonna to talk to you about how to improve your time management skills at work. Today, we are going to share with you three tips to improve and accelerate your time management skills and abilities. We are Bill and Chris Barney, and we're so excited that you've joined in and, and to hear what we have to say today. We have been married and also business partners for 37 years and have worked with individuals and organizations to help with time management, with communication, with problem resolution in all aspects. And we've been doing this for a lot of years and with sharing this with you today, we invite you to stay with us till the end of this video because we have a free gift for you. Tip number one is find a system. You need to create a system that you will use and that you will implement and make work. When we have a way to create that into a system, then it becomes something that's automatic. Whether that system is on the computer, on an app, on your phone, whether you have you know, the, the paper planner that you put together, whatever it is that you will use, create it to be a system so that you know you're going to plan, you're gonna write it down, you're gonna make time for it, you're gonna time block, you're gonna do all those things that become a system rather than just like, oh, I didn't write it down or I didn't put it in my calendar so it won't happen. Create it to be a system. When it's a system, you will do the same practices and principles and you will follow it and it will make you more on time and prompt and know what you have coming up. You'll use it more like a system. And with your system, you wanna be consistent and keep it up. Don't slack off and say, oh yeah, I'm gonna remember that because I'm used to doing it. Keep it in your system and you're not going to get to everything that you write down on your to-do list. The one thing that can just put a poison in the whole soup here is if you just blow it off and then don't put it back on your schedule. Make sure if there is something that you don't get to that you reschedule it. Don't put it off for someday because it takes a long time to get to someday, okay? If it ever <laughs> is there. So don't blow it off reschedule it, put it back in there, stick with your system and the system will work for you. We love for you to engage with us. We want you to put something in the comments. I would love to know the time that you messed up, screwed up, whatever you wanna call it, your time management. What is it that throws you off and messes with your time management? We would love to read this in the comments. We'll read every one of them and respond to you. So put it in the comments below, please. The second tip that we would like to share is schedule it. Let's face it, if you don't schedule it, it doesn't happen. And if it does, it happens by accident and poorly. So make sure you put everything in the schedule. If it's important, get it on your schedule. One of the best ways, I teach this all the time, one of the best ways to handle this is go to your calendar, again, however you do that, whether it's paper, on the computer, on an app on your phone, whatever you will use, and schedule the things you want to do first. The things that I schedule first on my schedule is my date night with my husband every week, my exercise routine, the things that I want to do. When you schedule the things you want to do, usually we leave those off the schedule and they never happen. And then we're upset when we don't have time for us to have the things we want to do. So stuff like the hair appointments, the date nights, the things that you want to do, put those on the calendar first. Vacations, family vacations. Most people don't have a problem putting that vacation on the calendar, but I tell you what, it's scheduled. You go and you say, we're gonna be gone this week to work out all the details. You write it down and it's scheduled, so it happens. If you're not going on vacation, it's because you're not putting it on the schedule. The second thing is the things you get to do. Now I say get to, those are the, I have a job, these are the hours I'm working. I have to drive carpool. I have children and they have lives too. I get to take them where they need to go. Those are the get to do's. There are no have to do's with your schedule and your time management. There are a lot of people that will tell you, oh, I have to do this and I have to do that. Well, guess what? We're all adults and we don't have to do anything. We can stay in bed all day long. We may not have a job when we get done with it and we may not have children that are functioning, but we can stay in bed. So you get to do those things and you put those get to do's on there and then make sure you're time blocking and you're blocking out space so that you have extra time 
in case something comes up. Because I guarantee you every day, something that you weren't planning on having to deal with comes up. When the doctor schedules the appointments, they'll say, oh, we don't have an appointment, but they always block out an hour or two or whatever time for the emergencies that come in. They leave some time for the unexpected things. And if you follow that pattern and leave yourself some extra time, and you know what? If no emergencies, if no crisis show up, kick your feet in the air. Work Sit on a goal, work on a something minute. you've let go by, or make up what you didn't get done yesterday. There's always gonna be times for that, and it will make you more productive, and you'll get more done, you'll be more effective, and you'll be happier. When you're accomplishing goals and you're staying in that accomplishment mentality, it does make you happier, it makes you be more productive in the workplace, everybody's happier if we're getting more done and we're ahead of schedule. Let me just speak to accomplishment mentality for just a moment here. That is so important when we talk about that. You feel like a a success, like, like, like you can accomplish and do anything. If you're always, I can't, I didn't, I wasn't, you feel like a failure. And when you feel like a failure, your energy is way down and you do not accomplish as much because you don't believe that you can. When you get, I did this, I did that, I am this, I am that, you're super powered up. You, you've got a lot more power <laughs> and energy and your belief that you can will make it so. You have to learn to prioritize and, and delegate, hire out. When people are like, how do you get more time? It is by prioritizing, by delegating, hiring people to mow the lawn or to do your shopping, doing those things. Yeah, sometimes it costs you some money, but money can be time. There's no way to double yourself. I mean, there's been a couple of movies where they tried to clone yourself, but it, it, it didn't really work, work very good. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure that you're managing your time and that you're finding ways to add ways for you to have more time to do things. So just notice what you say to yourself. Don't ever say, I don't have enough time, okay? Because you're limiting yourself. There are only 24 hours in a day, okay? And there's only so many of those hours that we can be actually productive above and beyond sleeping. But time can be borrowed. It can be rented, it can be bought, it can be purchased. <laughs> and so you can get more time by leveraging, asking people, delegating, decide what's more important to you and can you be more productive by hiring somebody to do some of your tasks. And that way you can multiply time. Just be willing to pay the price. We would love for you to subscribe to the channel. We have got phenomenal speakers with Mountain West chapter of National Speakers Association. You've got some dynamite speakers that are giving you tons of content. So subscribe right below, hit that subscribe button. You can even mark that little bell and let it give you reminders of when we drop a new episode. Every weekday we have a new episode and we have a variety of different speakers. So join us and have that subscribe button be something that you do right now so that you get every episode that comes out. The final tip that we would like to share with you is to make it a routine. Make it part of your, your morning routine, your evening routine, whatever works for you. Make sure you have your routines in place. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And it just seems overly simplistic, but seriously, that's the bottom line. If you Fail to plan, you're planning to fail. You, you let life happen to you instead of you happening to life. You be acted upon instead of acting upon life. When I was writing my second book, I had said, oh, I'm gonna finish it next year. And I didn't have a deadline on it. It wasn't written down. And when I finally had an accountability partner that was like, yeah, whatever, next year, there's 12 full months like nail it down. And when I put a date to it, by February 10th, I had to have it done and turned it into the editor. And to do that, we were going to have this really fun time at Disney World. My accountability partner and I were both going to be at Disney World and we were going to a big convention and we did these deadlines. We had this big reward. So when your time management can be tied to a deadline and a reward, you will be more successful. And always an accountability partner will make you more successful as well because they can hold you to your time management if you're not holding yourself to it. So it really does help to have deadlines and have that, that accountability to be able to, to make that happen. We love to be able to impact, influence, and inspire leaders and teams to adapt, grow, and thrive. And we love that you're here with us and we're able to share our free gift. 
We have the peer guide, which is your free gift. If you will go to our website, allthingspossible.biz, again, allthingspossible.biz, that's B-I-Z. It's right here in the description. You can click on that, go to our website, and you can get your free peer guide. We have put the peer program together, which is Productive, Intentional, Effective Resilience, and it's the best of the best that we've been doing for years with so many different organizations, and we would love for you to have that free guide. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.